VG Silk is a new nylon guitar instrument from UGEM. Let's take a look. If you're not familiar with the virtual guitarist instruments, the idea is that we play or hold down chords and then we have different styles that are played based on a key switching system that's set up where we trigger different patterns that are played. So let's take a look at the interface and then we'll put it to work. Now we have the menu bar on top here and these presets store the entire state of the instrument. And we can basically think of it as two sections. This top half has to do with the performance, what's being played. And the bottom part here has to do with the sound of the guitar. Now we have the style and chord bar over here. So here we can choose between a bank of styles or patterns that we can call up. And that's independent of the preset over here. So we can change the bank of styles where we use these keys in this range to trigger the styles in the menus that we call up here. And we also have a bank of common phrases that don't change when we change the styles. We can also restrict things to a specific key if we want. And here we get a display of the chords that are being played when we hold down notes and we use the upper range over here. And one of the things that's unique about Silk that I really like is that not only can we play the chords here and then use this range for key switching, but we have an octave here for bass notes. So we can play simple chords and get bass notes. Like for example, let's say I hold down C minor. I can now hit a bass note. So you can really get a wide variety of colors and voicings from simple chords that are held down by changing the bass notes. Another really nice way of using the virtual guitarist instruments is that we don't need to voice the whole chord here. For example, if I just hit a C, I'm going to get a C major. If I hit that with the minor third, I'll get a minor. Let's say I hit C and B flat, I'll get a C dominant seven, C and B, C major seven. So you don't need to hold all the notes down, just the determining ones that identify the properties of the chord. Now we have a performance section over here. We have a latch mode where we can hold a chord down and remove the figures from the keyboard and it'll stay playing until you play another chord. And that's turned on or off there. We can play at half speed, regular speed or double speed. We can add a swing value to the patterns. And these are really interesting for the timing. We can have a tight versus loose feel. And that's basically how rigidly they're quantized. And we can also have them play a bit ahead of the beat or behind the beat based on this. And the variance is interesting as well for dynamics. Counterclockwise and all the notes are fairly even in terms of velocity. And as we dial it up, we get more variation in the velocities of the notes that are generated. I'll leave it up a bit higher for now. Now, one thing that's not on the interface is the mod wheel. We use that to generate some palm muting. So as I hold a chord, bring it up. You can hear the notes muted. And pitch bend is also used to control the intensity of the velocity. Now here we have all the controls pertaining to the sound of how the guitar is played and some effects. So what I'm going to do is start a little sequence and I've got some key switch notes programmed up so you'll see these style notes changing in real time and we'll explore the parameters. Now the first thing is we can alter where between the bridge and the neck the strings are picked. different sound characters. These samples are recorded with two mics and we can combine them in various combinations. Animation adds a kind of comb filtering to create a more lively sound. We can add fret noise and automatic doubling, panned on both sides. We can add delay, the amount there and the rhythm over here. Reverb and volume. Let's explore some different style phrases. Let's have it play a little bit ahead of the beat. Or we can have it more laid back for 
more relaxed feel. And we can loosen up the timing. Or make it tighter and add some swing. So you can see there's a rich palette of sounds and phrases to choose from. I think Virtual Guitar Silk is a real winner if you want to get some nice nylon string guitar parts into your music. Virtual Guitar Silk. Check it out.